Hello there, welcome back to my channel Juella, or if you're new here then welcome to my channel. As you can tell by the title, this is just one or two little things I've tripped myself to online. I don't know what I'm going to call this video by the way, but obviously by the time I upload it, it's going to have an official title. So one item that I bought, I'm going to dive straight into, is a second little item I won on eBay. I did bid for two of these, I've obviously already got the other one, I got it the other day, and I absolutely swear by it it's a perfect mascara for me it's by bite and it is the volume upswing mascara now this box is a little bit tatty they said it was brand new but the box is well tatty but hey ho i won it for like two or three quid so i can't really complain and the postage was only 1.99 it is what it is so i've got another one of these little mini mascaras guys I absolutely love it as you know I've bought the full size from Boots if you've already seen that video then I have got that on there I am going to open it because I did open it obviously just to check it was all right love the bushy wand when it comes to mascara the bushier the better the spiderier the better for me but yeah it seems okay it does seem quite new I mean the person might have opened it it said new and unopened but you never really know it seems like it's been opened and the box is definitely seen better days it's a bit tatty but hey ho it, it is what it is it's absolutely fine i love it and it will get used and i know it's not going to be old because these were in the ok box just a couple of months ago so i know it's not a really old product so yeah absolutely thrilled with that there's not many of them on ebay but there is a handful of them and i bought the other one for 6.99 um the other little mini one that i got but like I say, that was in slightly better nick. <laughs> anyway, right, the second thing that I bought, it's literally just arrived today. And this, I was a little bit kind of really happy to get, really happy to find, because my lovely friend Kat did a Project Pan Roulette um, video on here where she chooses different eyeshadow palettes and works with those palettes for a couple of weeks and then chooses another few, like she does it every few weeks. Anyway, one of the palettes, I was like, oh, I absolutely love that palette. Where's it from? It was an iHeart Revolution one, but it's not for individual sale. So anyway, I typed it into the Revolution site and nothing was coming up for the gingerbread palette. At least that's what I thought it was called. However, I should have asked Kat more questions about it and I didn't. If I'd put Tasty Hamper, it would have came up for £17.50 in the sale. I looked on eBay though instead and found it for £21. So I paid a few more pounds than I could have done if I'd bought it officially online on the Revolution website. But at the same time, I've given someone some money and helped their, helped their finances hopefully by paying for £21 for it. Anyway, this arrived today, brand new and unopened, and it was still all sealed. So I'm pretty sure that it hadn't been opened. It came in like a poly bag and in a box. So this is the I Heart Revolution, the Tasty Christmas Hamper Collection. And it's just from the Christmas previous, so 2021. I was a little bit worried in case it was going to be older than that, thinking, oh, what if it's like really old and really stinky? Anyway, it just comes in a box, cardboard box, that looks like a little pink hamper. It's quite cute. It's cute if you like pink, but for me, I'm not that big into pink, to be honest. Um, one of my friends loves pink so yeah when it comes to her birthday in july i might send this box with a few bits in for her i'll see how i see how it goes anyway that's what it looks like inside i heart revolution and the products now the products were wrapped in bits of paper and stuff but there was nothing that had an actual seal on apart from one item which i haven't opened yet and i'm not going to because i'm going to give that away to a friend of mine Anyway, first item I'll show you. Quite a bland, bog standard item. It's a little beauty blender. A little peachy coloured beauty blender. Feels really soft, feels really nice and I'm happy enough with it and I will use it. So that item is getting kept. Remember I paid £21 for this with free postage but it's currently up for £17.50 on the Revolution website which obviously I wish I'd got but never mind. I'm probably going to keep going on about that, aren't I? But if I paid the postage with it, obviously, on Revolution, you pay a couple of pounds postage, it would work out much of a muchness. I would have saved myself 49 pence, which really, in the grand scheme of it, wasn't worth it. Anyway, at least I've helped someone on eBay. I keep telling myself this. I've, I've actually helped someone by buying it off them because it was an unwanted gift. The next item is a little gingerbread man bath fizzer. This looks super cute. I can't smell anything, absolutely nothing at all. No gingerbreadiness, no sweetness, no cinnamon, vanilla, nothing. 
so I really don't know what this is going to be like but I will use it and see what we we'll think so that'll go in the bath at some point really soon the next item is another bath item now this did have a seal on under the cap but I took the cap off because it was a bit sticky it looked like it had been tampered with a little bit to be honest but I don't think it's been used so this is a bath cream and it says almond however when I smelt it looks quite suspicious it looks like milk it literally looks like a creamy milk like a kind of cloudy milk oh it smells beautiful it smells nothing like almond so I haven't got a clue why it's called almond I don't pick up any scent of almond whatsoever that is pure pina colada if you've ever smelt a pina colada drink that is pina colada it's creamy it's coconut and it's pineapple absolutely love it so this if i don't use it in a bath i'll definitely use it in my little five pound bucket for, for steeping my feet but it'll definitely get used and to be honest i might use that for steeping my feet the bath fizzer as well i'll wait and see sometimes i get a bit worried in case i'm going to have a reaction to some bath products because i've got quite sensitive skin in certain areas so yeah i've got to be quite careful what i put in the bath but i will definitely use those two products this smells good enough to drink if that was a drink i would so be drinking it right now speaking of drinks i'm just gonna have a slurp of my water guys i've got to keep telling myself keep drinking the water i'm doing well though i'm having about two liters a day that is super super good for me anyway next product is something this is the product that's got a seal on and i'm not going to open it it is the cranberry makeup fixing spray but it's like an illuminated one i don't know if you can tell but it's like glittery looking it's like highlightery looking you've got to obviously give it a good shake to mix it up but it's still got a seal on the plastic seals all still on and i'm not going to open it because i won't use it i very seldomly use a fix and set and spray anyway which i know might sound shameful but i don't because i don't normally wear a lot of face makeup so i don't really use them it's just clogging your face up with more rubbish isn't it <laughs> anyway so yeah back in the day we used hairspray probably not a good thing but that's what we used to use when we were going night clubbing you know when you want your makeup to stay in place anyway yeah i'm gonna give this away i won't be using that product because i just don't use it the next product is a really cute lipstick and it's a really nice wearable inoffensive shade it's just a nice nude shade but how cute's the packaging i thought this might have a plastic seal on but it didn't so that's what's making me wonder was this opened and did they have a little bit of a look at a few items anyway i'm not worried because i could tell it hadn't been swatched or used beautiful colour like I say really nude like a nice all-round nude colour some nudes are really light some are really dark some are in the middle I think this is kind of in the middle so I do think it's a really wearable nude however it's a bit wobbly it looks like it's been broken so I'm quite dubious about it I swatched it on my hand earlier this morning when I got it and when you actually use it you can feel it wobbling about however I'm going to do a little swatch for you and again I can feel it wobbling about but it is a beautiful colour I really do like the Revolution lipsticks I highly recommend them for the price that you would pay and that is the colour it feels like a creamy lipstick I don't know if it's a matte or a cream it doesn't say but yeah I really do like the packaging and I like the colour even though I wear a lot of bright corally reds I do like the occasional nude now and again now and again not very often but now and again the next item i don't know if i'll keep but i bloody love the packaging i probably want to be keeping it for the packaging which is a waste so really i should give it to someone who would really like it but this is a colored lip gloss and it's called cranberry now it's quite a dark one now i do like it like i say i love the actual packaging the packaging is so cute smell wise it smells beautiful now i haven't swatched it because like i say i might not keep it but i will show you it it is quite dark i don't know if you can see there but it'll probably be a bit lighter on the lips but i still i've got so many lip glosses i very seldomly wear lip gloss whether it's clear colored or whatever i do prefer the colored ones to the clear ones i must say but i very seldomly wear a gloss because i prefer a matte or a slightly creamy lip but not so much a glossy lip but yeah it, it looks nice i love the packaging super cute but I might give that one away along with the, the fixing spray. I know someone who might really love those two items. So next, so next we have got a little highlight palette. This is super duper cute. It is so, so cute. I didn't know what to expect with this item. I thought it was going to be a little eyeshadow palette. 
because I'd only seen a few little sneak peeks of what was in the box. But yeah, this I'm going to have to bring up to the camera to show you. I'm sorry if you can't see it very well, but it's so bloody cute. It's like a jar of jam and it's embossed. It's like silicon rubber on top. It's so cute. I think if I'd been a teenage girl, I would have been like so thrilled and excited at receiving this. Anyway, the colours inside, I was quite shocked. It doesn't kind of make you think of what's on the palette on the outside. Like I say, it's a highlighting palette. And there is two highlighter shades in here. So you've got a pinky one and more of a coral orangey coloured one. I absolutely love the orangey coloured one, of course, because you know what I'm like for that kind of colour, that kind of shade. And I haven't got any highlighter on, guys. So, highlighter brush. And here we go. I haven't even swatched it, actually. But we'll just see what it's like. See if we can get any colour. Are we seeing anything, guys? I don't know because it's very difficult in this lighting. But I don't know if you can see much coming up. Sometimes with highlighter, you know, it's better to apply it with your fingers. Which I know doesn't sound very professional whatsoever. But yeah, sometimes it is better to apply with your fingers. So can we see anything, guys? I keep like putting more and more on. I could be making myself look like something intergalactic here, but hopefully not. Anyway, yeah, it's quite subtle. I don't think it's too in your face. It's quite subtle and I prefer that with a highlighter. So let's just do a little swatch of both. Obviously, when you do swatches with your fingers, you can get in deeper with the colours. Oh, yes, they are quite a little bit chalky there. So we've got the pink and the orangey coloured one there. The orangey coloured one is the one that I've put on my cheeks. Like I said, it's quite nice. If I was to kind of top it up here with my finger, I bet you'll see it a bit better. You can, can't you? I've just realised that you can see it much better when I use my fingers. <laughs> At least I think you can. Anyway, I'm happy enough with that. Absolutely. Did I need any highlighting palettes? Hell no. I've got blooming loads of them. But this is so cute. I couldn't part with that. Even if it had a shade in that I wasn't going to use. Even the pink one actually is quite pretty. I will use that as well. But I do have colours pretty much identical. But I'm definitely keeping this one. It's so, so cute. Absolutely love it. So I'm leaving the last product till, till the end that I was really happy with getting and was desperate to get my hands on. But this I'm pleasantly surprised with as well. This is the Pumpkin Pie Eyeshadow Palette. I think it's exclusive to this hamper because I haven't seen it on the actual website. I've seen a pumpkin style eyeshadow palette, but it wasn't this one. It was a slightly different one, so I don't know the differences. But this is the I Heart Revolution Pumpkin Pie Eyeshadow Palette. And again, it's like the raised silicon rubber embossed kind of lid. <laughs> and it looks really cute. Now, Kat said these were slightly more autumnal shades in this one. But for me, these are ideal. These are all year round shades for me. You've got your neutrals in there. You've got a few darks. You've got some nice mattes. You've got some beautiful shimmers in there. The type of colour that I use all the time. Absolutely. And a little pop of colour as well. There's a little pop of kind of purpley and a little pop of pink as well. Absolutely love it. This is definitely going to be a winner one for me. And I can't wait to play about with it. Now I would do some swatches but I think I'll save that for a separate video. Because I've got two palettes to show you and this will just end up being far too long. So yeah, that is the Pumpkin Pie palette. If you have used it, I'm just looking for the sheet of the sheet of cellophane that's come flying out. It must be on the floor. If you have used it, let us know what you thought of it. I quite like the Revolution eyeshadow palettes. Some people say that they're a bit rubbish. Other people say they're absolutely fantastic. And I think for the price, they're amazing. They're absolutely perfect. So I can't wait to have a little play about. I don't often have much of an adventurous streak with this when it comes to eyeshadow. So I like to get palettes where I know I'm going to, you know, wear them in the more usable, wearable colours for myself. This is the final palette. How cute is this? Kat, this is why I got the this is why I got the whole hamper. Because you showed this palette in your latest roulette video. And I thought, look at that. Like seriously. I mean, I know I'm not like 14 anymore, but yeah, it looks so cute. So this is the gingerbread palette. Like I say, I typed it into the Revolution site thinking it might just come up for like $6.99, but no, there was nothing. Anyway, it's lovely and it's embossed as well. It's like that rubbery silicon embossed. Keepers of palettes, they're so bloody cute. 
obviously they're a slight dupe to the i want to say the two faced palettes the pumpkin one and the gingerbread one i'm pretty sure two faced do quite similar ones but yeah look at these colors they are stunning they are beautiful to be fair this was the palette i was most excited about but when i saw the colors in the pumpkin pie one I was more excited about the pumpkin pie one but I do like some of the pops of colour in this one I think it's beautiful I love the pops of green the bit of purple I love this colour here it's like a matte kind of peachy pink I really love that colour love that matte colour there love this dark colour for an under eye for like a smoky look or for the crease so yeah really looking forward to playing about with this palette it's just so so pretty can't wait to do some swatches for you but i will save that for another video otherwise this video will be 20 minutes long or more and that's just too long no one's got that amount of time to watch me yabbering away so absolutely thrilled for 21 pound obviously i could have got it for 17 pound 50 so i'm a little bit gutted but at the same time if i paid postage it would have worked out much of a muchness and i've done someone a good deed and a favor by buying something they didn't want off ebay so there you go 21 pound guys not bad if you've got this hamper let us know what you think of it if you haven't get yourself on the iheart revolution website well the revolution beauty website it's not called iheart revolution get yourself on the revolution beauty website and type in the tasty treats hamper and this should pop up for 17 pound 50 i believe there's not many left so by the time you watch this video it might say sold out so yeah i know there's not many left and people were buying them quite fast thick and fast anyway can't blame them it's a lovely set it's lovely it's beautiful anyway thank you so much for watching stick with us for more videos which will be coming up again soon at this weekend today is friday and i hope to do a mask video this weekend so i can have a little bit of a catch up with you about diet stuff and little bits and bobs going on other than that thank you so much for watching take care now bye bye